Hey everybody, Ignacio here, and today I wanted to talk about a little about music this time for my top five video. And so I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my music taste, and this will be a very interesting video, I feel like. So the thing about me with music is I love old music. Old music is like everything to me. I like 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and maybe a little bit of 90s, depending on the artist. And even just medieval music, I love the dramatic, like, like the orchestra and all that stuff. Like something about those, the sound and the piano is just beautiful. And then you got today's music, which is absolute trash. And I absolutely hate it. Like I can go on a whole rant why today's music absolutely sucks. But that's not what we're here to talk about. So the thing about today's music, there's just only certain artists that I actually kind of like. Like for one, Bruno Mars is somebody I do like. And he's like a genius like in his music. And this is where I want to talk about the other artists. And it's One Direction. And the thing about One Direction, it's a boy band. And, you know, a lot of teens like the One Direction group, you know. And I completely understand that. Now, the thing about me is that I am an average guy, you know. I know One Direction. And I know that because it's a boy band, you know, they're obviously going to get some hate for, you know, for being a boy band and how they're not really talented. To me personally, I don't really care. As long as they have good music or if they even sound decent enough, I don't care. It's same thing with like Justin Bieber. Like you can't just hate on an artist because they're teen idols or something like that. I mean, good for them, like Justin Bieber. You know, even like somebody like David Cassidy from like the 60s, he even had some good music too that and he was like the think I like to think of David Cassie as like the original Justin Bieber from the 60s or maybe even I think it's 60s yeah but the reason why I'm making this video is talking about One Direction here's the thing about One Direction the first three albums from One Direction is absolute trash oh my gosh especially the first album like way too overproduced uh, that's how it is like the first three albums is just way too overproduced but however though the last two albums that they put out the fourth one which is the album four and the fifth one made in the am it's absolutely that their best work their best album work they worked on and it's mostly because they finally put the production a little bit less you know and make it see and they mature too so I'm going to give you guys my top five favorite songs by One Direction that I do own on my phone, exception of two songs, but I do give respect to One Direction for, and I always look forward to their albums. Well, not anymore because of, you know, I, they're all on their break right now, I guess. I, who knows? But here are five songs by One Direction that I personally do enjoy that I'm just an average guy who just likes old music. And I, if, if you're not a One Direction fan, I definitely recommend listening to this and what you guys think of it. Because, like I said, I am an oldie, and I prefer old music than, than One Direction. But I'm, without further ado, let's get into this top five, my favorite songs by One Direction. Starting off at number five on the list is something I'm kind of embarrassed to say, but we gotta talk about the song Stole My Heart by One Direction. And I hate to admit it that so, Stole My Heart is on the very first album by One Direction, but Ignacio, you just said the first album is trash, and it is trash still, but for some odd reason, Stole My Heart on that album is by far the best song on the album, and it's funny too because I went on iTunes and checked up the song real quick, see if it was like, you know, popular or something like that. It turns out to find out that, that the song is pretty underrated, but I do think Stole My Heart by One Direction is pretty good. But is it perfect? Hell no, it's not. It's kind of overproduced just a little bit. But the reason why I like the song is, I don't know why I like the song. It's catchy on the ears for me for some odd reason. Like, the people who sing it, I think it's Liam and Harry Styles. Like, those are the two people who, who sing the song pretty much. And the way how the song starts off, Light shine, it's getting hot on my shoulders. And then when the way how Harry Styles sings the song, like, Under the lights tonight, you turn around and you stole my heart. With just one look when I saw your face. I don't know, it's just like, 
it's something about it is just catchy to me and it's a song that i embarrassed to say but this is a song i definitely don't recommend listening to if you want to get into one direction but it's definitely a song for for whatever reason it's catchy on my ears but stole my heart kind of underrated but it's all right coming in at number four on my list is the song fireproof fireproof is on the album four and is that a coincidence the list is four and the song is four you get it well, the song Fireproof is one of their best works for, at least song-wise, at least. The song really reminds me a lot of, like, a little bit of the 80s and maybe somewhat 90s a bit. And Fireproof is a song, it's just catchy on my ears. Now, unfortunately, the song is not on my phone, but I was thinking about getting it, but I don't really want to spend money on it, you know, so it's not really worth it. And besides, it's not like I listen to Fireproof a lot anyways. But Fireproof is definitely a good song by them. I think the lead vocalist is Harry Styles, but I don't really know. But the only lyrics I really know from that song is, is Baby, we're fireproof. It's been so long. It's been so long. Maybe we're fireproof. That's the only really line I know from the song, but it is catchy on my ears a bit. And the matter of fact, the album four has some pretty good songs in general. Like it's just hard to make when you put five songs on the list, it's kinda hard to choose. But fireproof is definitely definitely catchy on my ears though. Okay, so the next three songs on my list are of songs I absolutely love. Like these are the songs I can go on the road and listen to. So the third song on the list is going to be the song 18 by One Direction. You talk about simple songs. 18 is by far one of their best works, somewhat underrated, and it's beautiful, the song. And it's mostly because the guitar work. You see, the song 18, all it is is just pretty much an artist. I don't, I don't know who plays the guitar. I think it's Liam, but... He, the guitar is so simple, it's beautiful. But it's funny though, because when I played guitar on that song, I tried to play the song with the guitar, with my acoustic, and it's actually kind of difficult playing the song. Like, I kind of got the feel. It's like, dun it dun it dun it dun it uh, You guys probably don't understand though, but, but I love the guitar work in the song A tune. It's awesome, and... And I love the live version too of the song. Like one of my favorite live versions of the of that song is when I don't know if anybody knows the concert though, but one of the concerts, Harry Styles like humps the the mic a bit. It's kind of funny as hell that he just humps it. But anyways, but eighteen. The only problem I have with the song eighteen is it's even though despite I just said it's just simple, it's just guitar work. But the problem with the song is that and at some point in the middle of the song they try to put a little bit of production in it just a little bit and it does not need it whatsoever all it needs is just that guitar work and that's it and harry styles sings the song so the thing about harry styles is i do like harry styles i think he's by far the badass guy in the group but 18 is a great song i definitely recommend anyone who does not like one direction i promise you 18 is a song that you might want to change your mind on so coming in at number two on my list, and the song is called What A Feeling, and it's on their fifth coming album, and it's Made In The AM, that's the name of the fifth album. But the song is called What A Feeling. What A Feeling is oh, amazing, I love the song, I just love, and it's so hard to, to sing a bit, like, I mean, you can't really sing it, like, what a feeling's way to be right here beside you now, holding you in my arms when the air felt, I don't know, something like that, it's just an awesome song, and this is by far the most underrated song by One Direction, because the thing about, I found out is that most fans do like the song 18, at least 18 was a somewhat of a popular song, What a Feeling is by far the most underrated one Direction song by them, and I definitely recommend get a listen to. It's pretty much like all the boy members pretty much singing all in unison, and it's just great. It's like the way how they sing together and the sounds in the background is just great. And I don't know, I just re recommend listening to it. It's a hard song to explain, like the sounds, like it's kind of interesting. I feel like, but yes, though. So coming in at number one, and by far. My number one favorite song by One Direction, can't believe this, 
but it's going to be the song Drag Me Down on their fifth album again, Made in the AM. Drag Me Down was their very first single that they released for the album, and it is perfect. It is great. I love the song a lot. Drag Me Down, you know, I never got so excited for a One Direction song that I want on my phone any other than the song Drag Me Down. Like, the way the song starts off, like, it gets this dramatic sound, like, uh, like it's hard to make the sound but but then then lee then i think he, no harry styles sings like song the song i think but i got fire for a heart i'm not scared of the dark you never see me look so easily i got a rhythm for a soul but baby you're a go but maybe you're my only reason but oh the song is so good and the way how liam takes the line of the song like all my life you stood by me when no one else was ever behind me. All these lights, they can't blind me. No one else. All right, I love the song. And the way how the song pretty much ends when Harry Styles just screams, like, it was, it's just great. I'm telling you, Harry Styles has talent. He should have his own, his own record company and make, be the solo artist that he should be born. But yes, though. That is all five of my favorite songs by One Direction. Um, I do like the list a lot. Maybe the fifth one, I could have found a better song that was way better than than the the fifth one. What was that song called? The Light. No, Stole My Heart. Stole My Heart was the song that I feel like it was crap. But, but other than that, though, I do give props for, to One Direction, though. I am looking forward to their sixth coming album, if they ever do make it. But... I'm mostly excited for Harry Styles' solo project. That's the one I want to hear, and maybe I'll make a review of that. But I hope you guys enjoy this. Hope some of you guys One Direction fans are okay with this list. But other than that, though, see you guys next time.